screen here. I'm sure most of you have migrated to USB drives and for second the DVDs and CDs in the junk. So here are 4 DVD hacks for you to try. If you lost your guitar pick or need another one, trace or draw the shape of guitar pick on a DVD. Then using a suitable cutting tool, you can extract the desired portion. I have left a few millimeters extra. Then using sandpaper, the final pick could be obtained by sanding. While sanding, the plastic layer gets separated which is transparent and looks much nicer. Although the burr will be taken care of while strumming on the strings, it's always good to make a neat finish. Look, I made some customized pick too. This one is in the shape of a heart. Then I made a regular one and a square one too. Now let's see if this hack works. Let's do a field test which happens to be the guitar itself. For this next hack, I'm going to use a circular cutter to score circle multiple times to get the right cut. You see that this is very reflective. So with a dab of hot glue, it could be stuck onto a bag. And this now acts as a reflector. Another thing you could do, salvage an L-clamp and secure the DVD using suitable nuts, washer and bolts with the reflective side facing outwards. Now based on the make of your cycle, you can attach this as a reflector. I got lucky when I found a smaller disc which fits perfectly for this hack. Next on the list is a simple toy that doesn't take much time. All you need is a DVD, a balloon, a bottle lid and an old pen. The part where the cap is fixed on the pen needs to be extracted as it would make mounting the balloon a lot easier later. We just need the center portion so we remove the top part as well. Once done, sanding and filing would take away all the burn. A hole is then made on the bottle cap. It doesn't need to be all that pretty. Then the cut portion is inserted with the cap side facing upwards. The bottom is hot glued covering all the opening. Then this cap can be placed on the DVD and hot glued. The only thing that matters is the air should be able to flow only below the DVD. The cap can be removed and inserted into the balloon and needs to be secured. I'm using a rubber band to do so. The balloon can now be inflated and remember to hold its neck not to let the air out. The cap part of the pen can then be slid back on. And when you let it go, you have a small balloon powered power trap. It's fun, right? If you don't want to be constructive and seek revenge on the DVD, do this. When you pinch it with the cutter, you can find a spot where you can poke a sharpie and separate the clear plastic layer of the DVD. Then heat the underside of the plastic sheet with a lighter till you find it melting softly. Then, when you blow air through it, you can get a bubble. So guys, DIY is not an explanation or a definition but an abbreviation that stands for do it yourself. These tricks are not new, they've been there forever. But this is the first time I'm giving it a try and I loved it. So maybe you should. So please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.